trying to close the gym on me. What's going on guys? Bringing you an arm and back workout uh, for this video and a little uh, refeed meal which you're about to see. Um, but yeah, same type of arm workout I've been doing for a while. I ended up, this is a few days ago, maybe four or five days ago, I ended up switching up my arm routine a lot today. I hit arms again. So these exercises have been working really well for me and I've enjoyed them but uh, you don't want to do the same exact thing forever obviously. Um, unless it's the main compound movements and you're on some sort of programming, but even then assistance work and Variations are really important. So I do like all these exercises, but I'm gonna start switching it up and then introduce these back uh, Shortly or at least work in some new exercises just to switch it up But um, I've been going heavier on every single exercise. So these lane curls I went to 120s for 12 and supersetted almost everything in this workout. So definitely adding more volume and strength with all these movements. But again, uh, if you keep repeating the exact same isolation movements, you may or may not end up developing some sort of injuries. So I'm not saying to do exactly what I do or to avoid doing this style of training, but always be conscious of what you're doing. And if you feel like it's not working that much anymore, you gotta switch it up. So I do enjoy these workouts, but definitely looking to add some new things into these. So again, like I said about the supersets, um, I wanted to get more and more volume in because that's kind of been my uh, goal these days. Not so much strength, but definitely volume in a given amount of time. So I supersetted every exercise. Today I went heavier and did more straight sets for arms. And this day, I, since I knew I was switching it up today, I went with a lot of volume and supersets. So after the rope press down, I did these kickbacks, trying to pause at the top for just a split second, making sure I get that full extension. And honestly, that tricep kickback is like one of the best feeling tricep exercises I've ever done. I feel like it's underrated. Obviously, I haven't seen that many people with great triceps preach that uh, it's a really good exercise, but I feel it better in my triceps than almost any exercise and I never have had pain doing a tricep kickback. So I'm gonna start doing those a little bit. I did them today. I'm gonna definitely increase the weight. And yeah, anyways, rope hammer curls went well. Ended up going heavier on that. And um, after each set, I did dumbbell hammer curls. Uh, form was kind of sloppy by the end. This is the last set. But again, like I said, supersetting everything. So they shut the lights off on me in the gym, like you saw in the intro. But just to finish up the workout, I did a few sets of barbell curls and overhead extensions and the lighting was crazy, so I got some good angles, but that was it, just showing you one set, and stay tuned for the food. Post arm workout, cheat meal, refeed meal, whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to eat anything good until this weekend. So, I'm going to treat myself. Killed legs yesterday, killed arms tonight, so I am ready to eat. Without further ado, let's do this. Yeah.
I haven't felt this full in a while. That was really good. Hope you guys are killing it with your diets. Gave myself a little refeed cheat night tonight. I did eat some junk in, over uh, last weekend, but didn't film it just because I don't know. I don't like to. I don't like to have my camera on me at all times. But <sighs> had to bring you guys along for this one. IHOP is awesome. Chocolate chocolate chip pancakes are very good. And that burger wasn't bad either. So I'll catch you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed the arm workout. If I put it in this video, if not, stay tuned for it. But uh, yeah, that's it. And I'll see you guys in the workouts this week. Peace and good luck. So every workout I've done since this back day, obviously including this back day, I've done those Kelly Sturette mobility um, routines. I forgot what day I was on. It was between like 220 and 250, but it's been months since I've done it because I stopped doing them closer to the end of my uh, contest prep because I was so tired. But anyways, I'm gonna link all of the ones that you see in this video, I guess this is the only one, and the ones I did the past couple days in the description. So click them and do them if you'd like. But uh, this is going to be how I warm up for all my workouts. Just whatever day lands on it, it doesn't really matter if it's upper body day and it's a lower body mobility. I don't think you should do specific mobility for a certain muscle group unless you really know what you're doing. I don't. I just like to do mobility because I think it's somewhat beneficial to be flexible. So anyways, link in the description. Do your mobility on, a daily, on the daily if you can. But uh, it's not the end of the world. It's just something I suggest to do and I'm happy to warm up with it and it's been going fine. So first exercise, warmed up a little bit on the lat pull downs and jumped into pull ups. I only got five sets of six. I shut it down on the first set at six because I knew it was gonna be too much if I went more. I am weighing like 215 gym weight, maybe even more depending on the time of the day. This was at night. So pull ups are definitely hard for me since I haven't done them in a while. So I supersetted that with the rope pull downs as well. So that was the final set, six reps was plenty. Um, and then I saw, uh, I was watching a bodybuilder on YouTube doing dumbbell rows and really explaining the importance of staying flat back when you do them and not twisting. So that was an example of me doing that, obviously going lighter, and I felt it a lot in my lats. So switch up your dumbbell rows too if you like to row in a high position, if it doesn't bother your shoulders. And for the barbell, it kind of does with me, but for the dumbbell, it doesn't. And after that, hitting traps as usual, getting super sweaty, knocking them out quickly and then went to the machine row. I only superset the first exercise here because it's really hard in a packed gym to like hog two pieces of equipment, especially when they're not next to each other. So yeah, crushed these rows. Uh, the pump was crazy. Did four sets here with a plate and a 25. And on this, I just like to focus on the full extension and full contraction. So really row it as far back as you can, almost to where it looks like you're really incorporating your biceps, but I don't feel that much in my biceps. And to finish up the back, I did some back raises. Only 25 pounds because I was still pretty exhausted from the leg day Saturday. This was Monday. And yeah, this is super painful. By the third set, the lactic acid buildup in the pump in the lower back is brutal. But since I'm not doing heavy deadlifts and squats these days, I gotta give my lower back some attention. And since I hadn't hit a shoulder day, and I wanted to hit my front delts with my chest, I threw in some rear delts here. So uh, instead of breaking up my shoulders on their own day this week, I ended up uh, just throwing the rear delts with back and throwing in side and front delts with chest yesterday, I think, yeah. So anyways, these were the two workouts from earlier in the week. I'll get a video up soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, and yeah, you'll see every workout I do this week. Hopefully the video will be up tomorrow morning, but that's gonna be it. Future collabs coming very soon, hopefully a couple, but stay tuned, guys, so see you soon. Peace.